students of 10th standard we are starting with the new poem from second language english syllabus before going to the poem there are few issues of your concern and also the concern of the people on which we have to concentrate a lot so we are living in the planet that is called as the earth and what is our thinking or what do we feel is we are the owners of this earth yes the earth has given us lots of space to lead our life as we wish and in the present situation we have reached to the level that we are not at all bothering in exploiting this mother earth we feel that yes everything on this earth is ours especially the area which is suitable for the living of human beings where you can construct buildings you can construct different factories the roads all these all this part is called as the land so you know that the earth is covered with air water and land area but mainly when it comes to the land area so our dominating character is really disturbing the environment so we feel that we are the owners of this land area or the whole planet so regarding this concept we have a beautiful poem written by marina di belgenta that is i am the land so here when you read the heading of this poem you are very clear with the concept that here the poet is the voice of the land or who is speaking to us that is the land so land is the speaker through the voice of the poet so the poetess here is trying to make us know or she is awakening us how much we are dominating this mother earth so this is a poem very simple in writing if you read it you'll come to know but the theme of the poem is very important here even by knowing the theme i don't think so it is easily followed by the human beings even if we understand i don't think so human beings can come out of his strong dominating nature on this land area or on the earth okay before going to the line by line explanation of the poem let us know few information about the poetess of this poem so you have the picture of the poetess merina di belgenta merina was born near milan in italy in 1949 she has a degree in poetry and recording media from mills college and an mfa in visual arts from university of california at san diego so here the degree she has got in poetry and recording media from mills college so she has also got an mfa that is master degree in visual arts from university of california at san diego she was a founder of feminist publishing house so here you come to know the main interest of the poetess so she was the founder of the feminist publishing house can kelsey street press of Ber berkeley in 1997 so one main aspect is she was a feminist who concentrated a lot on the topics regarding the issues 
related to the female that is feminist so she worked for the upliftment of the females her poetry has appeared in anthologies and magazines in canada italy britain australia and the usa so mainly her work or the poetries were published in magazines and also in anthologies the collection of poetries in the form of collection of poetries or in magazines so this is about the poetess or the poet of this poem the poem is very short but it has got lot of information so first concentrate on the reading and we'll also go on discussing line by line the meaning or the concept that has been try to try to explain in this poem i am the land i wait you say you own me i wait you shout i lie patient you buy me i wait with muddy holes and car lot eyes i stare then someone tickles me plants life fruit grass trees children dance someone sings so i am the land so here through the voice of the writer or the poet who is the speaker the speaker is the land i am the land i wait you say you own me i wait so here i am the owner or uh, okay i am the land and i am waiting for everything because we all know the mother earth has got so much of patience as she is really dealing with the burden of the human life without any complaints you say you own me so you are telling that you are the owner of the land you own me so what is the meaning here own own is possess so i am the land that is the speaker the voice in the poem you tell that you are the owner of this land you own me yes even then i wait so for what purpose is this land waiting so the land is waiting to see a change in the life of mankind do we understand what we are doing or what is the reason behind the waiting of this earth yes the land expects the human beings to change the way of their living only for the purpose of their living the land is being exploited in various ways by the human beings so the land is waiting and it wants to change it wants to see a change regarding the life of man so he is telling that he is the owner of the land man is telling he is the owner of the land even then the land is waiting you shout i lie patient you buy me i wait with muddy holes and car lot eyes stare so here you keep on shouting what is the shouting it is the quarrel or the discussions made among the human beings to own this land so there will be so much of discussion when you buy the land when you sell the land or when there is partition of the land or maybe too much of quarreling even then the land is patient i lie patient means i keep quiet i am patient you buy me so you become the owner of the land by giving money or by buying it i wait with muddy holes so even then i am there i wait with muddy holes means the surface of the land area so sometimes there will be so much of muddy holes or the polluted area or sometimes you may get very fertile area so all these things are the part of the land 
so that is the representation of the land area and car lot eyes what is the meaning of this car lot eyes extraordinary tools of perception as if the earth were staring with the lights of the car parked on it so here you have to concentrate that once the land is purchased what do we do we use it for the purpose of growing different crops or building the buildings or even sometimes for the purpose of roads all these things so when this is done what will be done on the land we try to bring different types of tools or there are different types of machineries that are brought on this land and the land area is made comfortable or it is prepared for the purpose of farming or constructing the houses or for the purpose of roads so how do you prepare it so there are so many machineries especially to level the land or to dig the land so you all have seen the bulldozers the cranes or when it comes to the farming purpose you have there are so many machineries which plow the land which till the land so all these machineries what do they do they go on doing different types of work on this land that is also the reference that is with muddy holes so many destructions so many disturbances are done on the so much of disturbance is done to this land so at that situation at that situation what happens the mother earth or the land it just goes on staring it just goes on seeing like what like the parked cars with the glowing light so when the car is parked with the glowing light it will just the light will be on in the same way the land will be just staring at us so that is the meaning here car lot eyes i stare stare is look at things you fixedly you just go on looking at something look at things fixedly for a long time so it keeps seeing so when it is disturbed it just goes on seeing the human beings or their activities next you can see then someone tickles me plants life fruit grass trees children dance someone sings so once the land is prepared maybe for the purpose of building the buildings or for the purpose of roads or for the purpose of the farming now there is one more process that is they start tickling tickles tickles is plow tickles means plow plowing the plowing the land for the purpose of sowing the seeds you have to plow the land and for that also you have the machineries nowadays so many machineries so those machines are brought and the land is plowed after that what do we do so we starting we start sowing the seeds or we may plant different plants then the plants may be of fruits or it may be different trees or there will be the growth of grass so thus there will be change on the upper layer of the land otherwise you can see that the children will be playing on the land area or they'll be dancing and someone sings so so many processes go on this land area that is the life of human beings you come with guns a chain link necklace chokes me now i wait you cannot put a fence around the planet earth i am the land i wait see again once we own a land we are the owner of a piece of land first of all what do we do we try to put a boundary 
nowadays we construct the boundary that is the compound wall or if it is a very large area also there will be different type of different types of fencing so here the speaker is telling you come with guns again the different machineries that is used to tighten the fencing so here with that guns you also bring chain link necklace that is the fencing uh, fencing materials whatever you bring the fencing materials with the fencing materials you get mesh or you get the metal chains we bring such fencing materials and we try to put a boundary so with this materials what do you do you just put a fence you lock me up you lock me up so chain link necklace means the fencing it is a fencing here or the fence different types of fence that are available even then because of that chain link necklace the land tells which chokes me now which chokes wherein it gets suffocated choking means especially when you get suffocated in your throat when food particle or the water enters your air pipe so here what is that choking here the choking is when you are tying that land when you are fencing that land with the fence it feels that it is choked it is tied even then i wait i wait that you will really change the way of your living you cannot put a fence around the planet earth i am the land i wait so here again you have a warning yes a piece of land that belongs to you you try to chain it or you put a boundary or you try to fence it but you cannot put a fence around the planet earth don't think that the whole planet earth is yours it belongs to all the other living beings so you have to know that you cannot put a fence or lock it with the fence because it is not only yours it belongs to all the living beings so here again the land is warning i am the land i wait i have so much of patience i know one or the other day you will change and you will try to change your attitude of that dominating one so don't dominate on this mother earth so this is a place for everyone and we should give this space for all the living beings and try to save our planet especially the land the water and the air this poem even though it is very small in size it has given us many things or it has given us many messages which is the need of the hour so most of the poem i keep on telling that it is a need of the hour because human beings are still not trying to understand the situation of the mother earth which is being exploited especially by the human beings so this is a poem from second language you can read it again and again very easily written and try to understand the poem and keep watching the video thank you